hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia if it is the first time on my channel you are highly welcome guys okay so this video is requested I think quite few people have requested it but I'm finally filming it today today is 16th of November in fact November 2024 <laughs> just for dead sake okay in true honesty I don't have any question it's supposed to be a get to know me video because i think few people want to actually get to know me but the thing is that there's no much <laughs> there's no much anyway guys let's just dive into the video because it's already a long intro let's just dive right into it thank you okay guys so as i was saying hmm, i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder <laughs> i think we all creators we are used to that okay there's nothing really to tell about me <laughs> there isn't much to tell about me that's why i'm smiling because <sighs> where will i start okay my name is sophia i'm not sure i can tell you guys my son name <laughs> but i'm sure my son name is all over the internet but my name is sophia okay so yes i have four children so if don't i've seen some few comments that said you say you have four children we always see only one yes you only see one that's precious she's she's the one that's always in most of my vlog right yeah and then my other daughter a zero so i got four children guys yes i got four children yes i'm married yes my mom is here and also my father is like, oh your mom yes i made a video sometime and they're like oh your mom is here yes my mom is here <laughs> um yes i have siblings i have a lot of siblings okay i have so much siblings um what else oh yes i work i'm a healthcare professional or healthcare assistant anyway you want to call it band four um what else i have a hobby i have a hobby in the form of a business okay yes i have a hobby in the form of a business but i call it a hobby it's something that i started some months where i kind of go off and on sometimes i stop i get rid of everything i start <laughs> I think it's a hobby that is calling me to do it as a business, as a full-time business. It's a business, but it's not a full-time business. You know, <sighs> see, anyway, it's a get to know me video, right? Okay. So, the thing is that business in UK, it's not a joke. It's not like Nigeria whereby we have the population to help you grow your business. The UK also have population, but... There are already big, big businesses and everything you want to do in UK has been done already, you see. Everything you want to do in UK has been done. But I know that if you're in a country that the population is in more millions, like Nigeria, like uh, all this, you know, this country that has like 200 and something millions and so on. It's a little more straightforward, okay. That is precious, as you guys know. <laughs> I'm doing a get to know me video. They've requested it. Few people have requested it, so I'm trying to do it. <laughs> yes, the one. She's the one that's always on my vlog. She's the only person who is always mainly around me most of the time. Okay. Yeah, I would. Anyway, let's continue with UK business then. Yes, so UK business, not used to do business like that in UK. It's quite challenging to do business in UK. Not challenging hard like that. You can literally start your business and sell to... Your colleagues at work but sometimes not all of them yes precious not all of them we buy from you you guys know that already your family can even buy my family doesn't my family hardly buy things from me and i don't have huge family in uk okay i don't have huge family which one is that she's looking at me i don't have huge family in uk i have my mom yes i have two of my siblings here who else again that's it exactly i don't have huge family. my precious I don't have a huge family in UK, you know. Most I think most of all our extended family they are in Nigeria. Okay, most of them are in Nigeria. I have a lot of siblings in Nigeria. I have like if I'm not mistaken, maybe thirteen siblings, mm -hmm. boys and girls in Nigeria. I have my step parents, step mothers there. My father is late, okay. Yeah, my dad is late, so there's my mom mm, and I have two siblings. Of course, I have a step father, but story for another day. <laughs> yes, so that's that's it. Yes, I have a husband. I have my children. 
what else what else yes my business mm. anyway uk is a fact this country is like walking is the it's kind of the normal of this country you can do business but you need a lot of money to actually push the business to do it you know you need so much money to do it and as i say population it's not it's not it's not there's population of uk have about 60 something million people but because there's all the business you think of is already be done it makes it very difficult to do your own business so everybody just go and walk and i walk 12 hours you all guys understand i've said it in few of my videos i walk 12 hours and it's night and sometimes i can't edit videos sometimes i can't edit videos sometimes i can't and the thing is that hmm, in uk you can't just vlog people's faces <laughs> you cannot just carry your phone or your camera and vlog people's face I know that people don't understand that. You cannot just put your camera on people's faces. So people don't like it. Okay. So I would love to do more family vlog. But my husband doesn't even want to be in a vlog. <laughs> my husband doesn't even want to be in a vlog. He's not interested in doing anything. YouTube, I tried to persuade him a few times. That you can make money from me. But he's not interested in that. Some of my children don't even want to be in the video. Even precious that is sometimes in the video. is because when I started, when I start vlogging, she's around me. So I show her. But sometimes she wants to run away. Am I right, precious? Yeah, she didn't hear what I said. I said sometimes you don't even want to be in my video, right? Exactly. See? So because they are grown, they don't want to be in my vlog. So it's hard for me to like vlog my family when they don't want to be there. I can't force them now. And as I say, in UK, when you go outside, you can't just carry your camera and start vlogging people's faces. You are in a country where there is law. So you have to be careful when you vlog sometimes you have to systematically vlog with your phone you know trying to avoid especially children you have to try and avoid their faces or blur their faces out of the camera okay i know it is a get me get to know me video but it's just going to be anyhow <laughs> anyhow okay guys so as i say i got four children okay and i also have other children which is my husband's children okay so making it in total of seven children <laughs> but in my own biological children there are four four of them okay i know some people don't know but i have grown up children they are not two years old they are not three years old my first child he's almost 23 this month november he'll be 23 the second one she's 21 the third one he's 18 the precious is 16 can you see there's no way you carry a phone and be saying i want to vlog this person face i want to vlog that person face you understand you can't mm -hmm. And also, my children, eh, well, topic for another day. Okay, they have special need. Some, mm, they have special need, but that would be a topic for another day. If you guys want to know, like, if you guys want to know more about their special need, I can tell you, not all of them have special need, but if you guys want to know a bit more about their special need, you can leave a comment on this video. Okay, so it's not something that I can just put camera in their face. In the past, I've tried to put camera in the, especially the first one. I've vlogged him a bit before in the past. If you go to some of my videos, you will probably see. And I have some really annoying comments. One particular comment that got me, which was very annoying, was if somebody left. I just delete the comment. This is like some years back. The person said, oh, that's why uh, Africa women turn their, their husbands or turn their children to slave. I don't understand what that person means. I was trying to teach my son how to shop. In Iceland, and the person just left a negative comment like that, you know. But anyway, that didn't really disturb me because I was teaching him how to shop in um, Iceland, you know, how to uh, do proper shopping with what you write down, list, and all that. But that was a comment I got, but that's like years ago, you know. But anyway, not like I put them much on camera because I see. And also in UK, there isn't much. You can do a lot of activities in UK, but it's involved money. The only free activity, my own, I feel, I think, oh, the only free activity is to go to the park. And it's cold. Summertime, yes, summer, there can be sun. You go to the park. But personally, like me, I suffer allergy. You know, I can't just go to the park and be sneezing my head off because of the grass and trees. You know, I'll be rubbing my eyes. You know, you guys need to see if I go to the park during summer. That's how I'll be sneezing, rubbing my eyes, and I'll come back very unwell. So I avoid the park most summers, 
you know sometimes i go but when they were much younger oh if i have started my youtube video when they were much younger maybe you guys would have seen more of the activities we did when they were much younger how they grew up and all that their special need um then everything you guys would have seen how i went about it but anyway they are grown now and it's not something i can really uh, put camera in their face when they don't want the camera you guys understand if as i say people in uk some people don't want camera if you put every camera some people are looking at you like they'll be they'll just be like as if they've never seen camera before they know it's a camera but they are wondering why are you filming me they don't want to ask you but the look they give you is like why is the camera in my face <laughs> so so most of the time when i'm outside i use my phone to vlog yeah there are some places in uk you can vlog nobody cares like if you go to westminster and you vlog it's a public place it's like a tourist area that's the right word it's a tourist place so you can vlog anybody face because there's so many people that are doing videos doing tiktok doing videos vlogging westminster because that is their parliament area you understand us for circles the water fountains you can see that whenever i go to those places i can vlog it but when it comes to your day-to-day -day something if i go to any activity center it's difficult to even blow because there are other people children that is there there are other people there and by the time you start vlogging everybody will start wondering why is she recording why is she even recording and then they'll come and tell you oh i'm sorry you are not allowed to record in here oh you can't do this one in here so you see you can't at the end of the day you can't even record anything even in the market sometimes you have to tell some people that i'm a content creator before they will even allow you to even vlog it you are buying you are buying pepper you are buying plantain they are telling you you are not supposed to record i'm sure one or two of my videos you guys would have heard my voice saying i'm just recording what i'm buying even in sainsbury's as big as sainsbury's is when i go to this video uh, shop to do like shop with me hmm, they've almost seized my camera horns <laughs> they said whenever i want to come and do vlogging i'm going to go and see the security man first i need to go and see the security man first to tell him that i'm a content creator and if they can allow me to vlog or not you can imagine that has happened to me in Sainsbury's you know and I think I mentioned it in one of my videos you see my you see my channel there so you see the places I know you can easily vlog are even Iceland I've been yes I've been challenged recently in Iceland but I told the, the manager that I'm a content creator I showed him my channel it's like oh YouTube okay okay fine fine but don't vlog any customer faces you guys can see so sometimes it's hard to to create content where there is a lot of people yes i would have loved to show my family if they will all want to partake in the video but as they don't want to partake it just make it like my life is just like it's not boring but it's not interesting <laughs> it's not it's not that boring it's not that interesting either <laughs> it's like as if it's just there <laughs> you know okay now when i'm on holiday I've been on holiday for a few weeks. When I'm on holiday, I'm just home. Like, if you go outside to go and do anything, you have to write to spend money. You have, to spend, you have to be spending money. You guys understand. So, it's, I don't know. I want to be vlogging, but I don't know what to vlog. And that's why I just vlog only myself. And I just vlog the things I do, which is the shopping haul that I feel people enjoy doing. Somebody suggested I should do recipe. But which recipe I will come do now? Yeah, most of the food I eat is Nigeria food. <laughs> most of the food I eat is Nigeria food. Unless you guys just want to see maybe this video of my business, how to do business in UK, how to start up a business in UK. Um, what else? I'm not an immigration officer, so I can't do uh, how to come to UK and all that. I can't give you that information. I'm not an a home officer in <laughs> this thing. I'm not an immigration consultant, that's what you call it. So I can't give any information about all those things. But if you ask me something about UK, maybe I can I can talk about it. I can do a sit down video like what I'm doing now and talk about something like that. Okay. Things you want to get to know, you want to know about UK. Not like I know a lot, just the, the ones I know. Okay, so what is what is what is what is what's the risk in my life? What is there? What is there in my life? Um Yeah, so as I say, my business is like a hobby. It's a hobby that you make money once, you know, here and there. It's not really a lot of money. Although I really would like to take it as a full-time self-employed something. But it's getting people to buy. Getting people to buy is the thing. Getting customers to order 
because I can't afford the shop. Shop are extremely expensive. Once upon a time, yes, I had a shop. Okay, maybe that's part of something you want to know. Once upon a time, that's years, years, years back, I had a shop. This is a long time ago. I had a shop. I used to sell jewelries and clothing, a bit of mainly jewelries, just little clothing. Okay, that's years ago, but the whole thing, it's a different story entirely, <laughs> story of my life. It's a different story. The rent is not a joke. The, cancel, the business rate is like cancel tax. It's not a joke. You pay all those bills and all. It's too many things. Okay, but the children were much younger then, so it was quite tough. It was quite difficult to pick them from school, to go there and come back. Anyway, I closed it now because it was too much. Okay, it was too much. There are other things that is involved in it, which I don't know if I should share right now. Maybe another time, you know, maybe story time. If you guys want me to be doing story time of my life, hey, it's going to it's going to be a lot of things that I don't want to say. I will end up saying them. And there are people that watch my content, family members that watch my content that there might be one or two things I will say now and they will call me or send me a message. Sophia, why did you say that in your video? <laughs> You know those monitoring spirits. <laughs> all those people that like to monitor you. Uh -huh. they, they, I have monitoring people. They will monitor themselves, not me. <laughs> you know, is that what I mean? So yeah. So what is there? I don't know. Eh? Apart from cooking, doing shopping haul. When I travel, because I will still travel again this new year. We are going by a special grace of God. I will take you guys around my travel. Being it business travel or pleasure travel, I will take you guys. Yes, that is the only kind of content that I can actually expose everybody's face when they are all with me because we are travel. But when we are back in UK, there isn't much, you know. Is as I said, the most shy you guys are going to see me mainly with is precious. She's the last shy. She's the one that is very attached, like very close. The rest of them are close to me, but she's more around me. That's the right word here. Yeah. She's more around me, and she's the one that we tend to do videos together. Even before she became like, oh, I don't want to show my face anymore. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that's why she's merely the one in my content. My husband, very occasionally, he will tell you he's not interested. Oh, I don't want to see my face on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> And that's the thing. And also, why I don't post video, I've not posted video for a while. It's not like as if I don't have shopping hauls, I don't have vlogs, I have, but I'm just discouraged with the fact that YouTube doesn't give me views. I've had my channel for a while. Yes, I changed the niche, okay? I was mainly doing my uh, tailoring because I used to sew for people. That's a long time ago now. This is like how many years ago? I used to sew for people. I used to, when I'm doing the cutting, the sewing, I video it. So if you go back to my old content, you will see it's, made, it's tailoring, sewing, teaching people how to sew, how to do alteration. I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore. There's no time for it, okay? So, yes, I was once a seamstress, you can call it like that. I'm, I still sew, I'm still very good at it, but I don't sew for anybody anymore. Okay, during my early time of, of um, sewing, you know, sometimes you make some mistake here and there with customer clothes and some customers were very, very rude, you know, because I was just new to it. Although I already know how to sew, but you know, occasionally once once in a while you may make a mistake with somebody's um, style. Sometimes you might even tell them that this style will not suit you, but they will not agree that the style will not suit them. After you finish making the clothes, they wear it, everything looks okay, they will tell you they don't like, they don't like the style anymore, like as if you are the one that shows it for them. So all those things just made me feel, even when I became really good at sewing, you still have some people telling you, oh, it's too expensive. I, I can't pay 50 pounds for this one. I can't pay 100 pounds for this. Oh, I should I just take the clothes to Nigeria? So people will even sew the clothes in Nigeria and bring it to me. I'll be shouting like as if I'm the one that sold the clothes. <sighs> it was too much. I'm like, please, you guys just carry your clothes to Nigeria. It's not me that sew it. And I wish I had all this headache. You understand? So all those things made me stop making clothes for people. Okay? So I just do this my hobby of selling here and there, off and on, off and on selling. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do it a proper full-time business when I'm ready. You know, because it requires a lot of money, a lot of advert. You need a lot of money and advert okay, to do business in UK. As I say, if you guys want to know anything about business, not like I know a lot, but the little I know, I can give a bit of information on the video okay yeah what else to know about me hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know. I think that is all really. <sighs> what is, what is, what is? Mm. I don't know. My past life is my past life, Abby. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> my past life. I know some people will have still, some people still have more more questions, but because I don't have anything written down, I've I've done um community posts few times, like if I'm not mistaken, maybe four times, asking people to ask me questions about what they want to know about me. Because I cannot I don't have questions, so I don't know what to say. I told them leave me a question. It's okay to leave me a question. They just said, Oh, yes, we'd like to get to know you. Oh, yes, we get you. <laughs> but there's no question. I even replied and saying, Send me your question. Which question do you want me to answer? You know, like if you don't ask me a question, I don't know. I just talk and talk. You know? Yeah, so I don't know. I've not been to Nigeria for a long time. I would love to. Okay, so people might want to say, How long have you been here? I've been in the UK for a long time. <laughs> I've been looking for 20 whatever years, yes. I came as when I was much younger, a teenager, let's say. So I came when I was a teenager. So I've been here for a very, very long time. 20 whatever years, as you say, 20 something years I've been here. So my first child is almost 23 this month. So you guys can see I've been here 20 something years. Hmm. How old am I? You can guess that one in the comment section. <laughs> that one is left for you to guess, to guess in the comment section okay what is um so people can guess my age with my with my first child they may be correct they may be wrong <laughs> just guess i i know sometimes my body stature make people to guess i'm very old and because i have children that are grown so people think i'm very very old the answer is no point <laughs> just guess how old you think i am in the comment section if you are correct where good i might say something you are correct i might give you a heart to see you are correct i might just say hmm <laughs> anyway anyhow <laughs> okay guys um what else <sighs> what else what else you guys know that when you go to work here you can't vlog your work because that's one thing i went to do i was there was a time i went to say come with me to, come with me to work but you cannot vlog your work when you work in the head section you guys already know you cannot carry your camera and be saying you are vlogging your patient <laughs> or you are vlogging your client you can't you can't do that uh -huh. so you can you can't be vlogging their home so vlogging the hospital and all that you can just show the outside of the place you are going and that is it you can't do that you guys know so i will try they will vlog a bit of the uh, the staff room and i've tried that once but i deleted the video because there was not much content there you know I just deleted the content. I deleted it. It wasn't. That was my one of my jobs I was doing before the one I'm doing now. But I deleted the content. So yeah. What else again? I think that is all, guys. Um. Yeah. I think maybe another content. If people show interest in this video, and you are based in UK, and I get a lot of, even if it's not so much, if I can get up to five or six people actually saying they would like to know a bit about business you know because me i also know about important things from china okay important things from china from turkey all those places yeah if i get few people that really want to know i can be doing videos relating to that okay but as for vlogging family activities i really don't have any activities so make, make another life guys speak pigeon english join i don't it's when my children were much younger uh -huh. see when they were like two years old to like around them um, and when they were, let's say from two years old from the, to, the first one to when they were about 11, 12 years, that age, I have so many things because we used, I used to take them out. I used to take them to different places like we went to Enchanted Forest, Margate, Beach, different, different places I used to take them to. But now that they are grown, where are you, where are you taking them to? <laughs> now that they've grown, you can't take them anywhere. They go to places themselves. Those that know how to get to the destination okay yeah guys i think my camera has changed to red maybe my space in my um sd okay guys so my <laughs> my sd card the space is low i think i'll start using my new sd card anyway um if you guys really have any other question that you want to ask you can ask me in the comment section if i really don't have any other question and as i told you guys already the reason why i don't do so much vlog 
I really don't have any activities, that's the honest truth. Apart from going to work and my work, you can only drive with me when I'm going to work. I don't have much to show you apart from driving to work. I can drive, put my, my phone on the screen and drive, which I've done a few times. Apart from showing you guys what we eat, what I buy, um, I, I can do business vlog if you guys want it, as I've said before. If anybody wants that, just leave a comment. If not, I won't bother so much. I will do it once in a while. What else? That is just about it. If you want to know anything about me, you have to really ask me the specific question of what you want to know. Because I don't know. I don't know I'll just be rambling like what I'm doing in the video already. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Okay. Yes, I like social media. I do TikTok as well. I go live on TikTok as well. To try and sell if I can. But you guys already told you guys business in UK is not funny. It's not for the faint hearted. You can start today now and stop tomorrow. But you have to keep working because you need money to help it. To sustain the business. Hmm? Um, what else? I think that is it before my came before my SD card dies again. I have to delete few videos in order for me to complete this same um, get to know me shit chat. Get to know me shit chat and update life update. Is it life updates? I don't even know. Anyone shit chat, anyone you call it. <laughs> okay guys, so yeah, that is that is it really. I would have loved to really be vlogging my family, sharing more. But there's nothing much to share apart from sharing my own life. That's why I say you guys can ask me questions about myself you know um yeah that's it really thank you all so much for watching uh maybe i can do another shit chat video i don't know what to do i said i'll be coming live maybe once in a week maybe i'll try coming live i'm thinking maybe once in a week at the weekend maybe like on friday i can come live maybe around um i don't know just at the weekend maybe friday saturday sunday one of those weekends just had it in your book <laughs> in the evening maybe in the night i don't even know i'm trying to think of the best time when people will be awake or be in their bed relaxing we can just be shouting maybe there will be more people i don't know maybe around eight nine ten one of those i, I can just come live we just shout for a few minutes and yeah everybody go their way <laughs> so yeah not like i have a lot of things to share yes i have my past life which is uh, bittersweet but i don't know if i want to share it now in, I don't know so but anyway if anybody really wants to know much about me just leave me a question will be the best way I can answer it in another sit down she shared video or I can answer it in a vlog okay or if it's a lot of questions I will just do another Q and A get to know me question okay guys thank you all so much for listening to my rambling and talking non-stop thank you all so so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.